Hey everyone, in this video, we're gonna learn how to test real time stock market data in OpenAlgo using Bruno. So, Bruno is a uh, free and open source API client designed to test your own REST API. Not only REST API, they also support uh, GraphQL and uh, GRPC APIs as well. But very recently, today, they had launched support for WebSockets as well. So, that uh, uh, now anybody who is using Bruno, they can go and test real time stock market data. So if you're an open algo user, definitely is a must try. So let me go to the Bruno portal. So in the Bruno portal, you'll be finding the download section. So under the download section, uh, the latest version 2.13.0. From there onwards, uh, you, you can see support for uh, WebSockets, right? So you just download it and then install it. In my case, I had already installed. So here is Bruno. So let me pull up the Bruno here. So if you go to help and uh, you go to about Bruno, so you should be able to see the version. The version says uh, Bruno 2.13.0. So and uh, in order to use the documentation, so this is where the OpenAlgo WebSocket documentation, you can find under the API documentation section under V1. Under WebSockets, you can find it. So it is more of an open channel. It's a bi-directional channel which we can communicate. So as far as uh, OpenAlgo is concerned, I'm running already OpenAlgo here, right? So in my VS Code and OpenAlgo is already uh, running under port uh, 125.0.0.1 colon 5000, right? So I'm going to go and get my API key over here. So here is my API key. I'm going to copy it and uh, I'm going to keep it separately. So now I'll go to Bruno and i'll go and uh, create an, a new request so here i'm going to select websocket over here i'll give a request name saying like uh, websocket ltp that's a name i'm going to give over here and the url so url is nothing but the websocket url if you are running open algo locally your url is supposed to be ws colon 127.0.0.1 colon 8765 probably if you are running in your own custom domain so the url more or less looks something like this so let me copy the local URL here and then I'll paste it and then I'll create and the messaging is going to be very simple. We're not going to use any headers. It's going to be a raw message only. So here we're going to pass on the uh, authentication over here. So here I have to authenticate first, authenticate with my WebSocket just to ensure that you are the right person who are interacting with OpenAlgo. So you have to enter your OpenAlgo API key. So this is the first message I'm going to pass on to the channel, to the broker. I mean, not to the broker. In this case, we're going to pass on to the OpenAlgo. And on the other side, OpenAlgo will be opening up the socket with the broker automatically, right? So now the context here is uh, I'm going to get the API key. So here is my API key. I'll copy it and then I'll come back here. And if the API key is correct, you will be authenticated. Let me pass on the message to the channel. As you can see that the connectivity has been happened. The message you are receiving is like success. You can also expand this message as well. You can see what message is what we got. So we got access to the LTP codes and depth. So these are the supported features, right? So right now we're going to use only access to the LTP only, right? So I'm going to access, I'm going to subscribe to the LTP codes. So in order to get subscribed to the codes, time is now almost like 10, 23, almost uh, NSE market is closed. So we're going to try with MCX. I'll go and get the subscription symbol. So you can see the format to how to subscribe or unsubscribe. So here I'm going to go and get the subscription for the basic LTP code. I'm going to copy this, right? It's a basic format. Instead of sending this message, we already got authenticated. Channel is still open, right? So let's go and pass the symbol. So instead of sending this symbol, I'm going to send it for crude oil. So I'm going to use the exchange as MCX and the symbol. Uh, I'm going to choose the recent crude oil symbol from here. I'm going to go to the symbol section, right? I'll go to the symbols search from here. I'll go and select uh, MCX. I'll select crude future crude FUT that should be listing me only the crude oil symbols. Let me select it. So now this is the open algo supported crude oil symbol. Let me copy this and I'll uh, paste the symbol over here. The moment I say this, you can see that the data keeps flowing in. You can go and inspect each and every data, like uh, what data that we are receiving from uh, open algo. So this data is received from the broker side. What is actually happening is like when you open up, when you're subscribing, to the OpenAlgo channel, OpenAlgo in other turn, 
it opens up a web socket with the connected broker it authenticates it it also subscribe to the same data so what you are trying to do with open algo open algo does the same thing to the broker as well so the pipe from the broker the data will be coming through the pipe to open algo and open algo will be distributing it to your uh, front end front end or, or probably in your uh, sdk client or wherever you want right so that way you can simply go and uh, check out if you don't want the data you can always send an unsubscribe over here so unsubscribe the data should stop right but still the channel is open and now uh, you can see that the, the data got stopped let's try something different so instead of mode one we'll go and check with the different modes over here so here let's say like we go with uh, mode three depth five this will be getting as the uh, market depth data Right, so top five bid and ask levels is what you should be able to get. So let's see whether it works or not. Right, you see that we're gonna subscribe. We're not gonna unsubscribe. We're gonna subscribe over here. When I say subscribe, the data is received. You can see that this is a stock market data. We're getting the market depth. Right, so we're getting the market depth. We're getting the upper circuit, lower circuit, open, high, low, close. All those things we are receiving over here. So that way uh, you can get streaming real time data in Bruno. This is purely for testing purpose. So if in case if you want to test, if you think like your data is not working or it is getting disconnected. So the right way to test is using Bruno. Of course, Bruno is open source, right? So I'm sure highly recommended you can go and try it out. So let me know how it works for you. Thank you. Bye bye.